get free ride points, gift cards, and much more. And make sure to use the code MONK to receive an extra 50 points. Alright, what's up? What's going on, guys? Captain Monk here. In today's game, playing some Underworld Wukong, actually, in the jungle. So let's get ourselves here the Hunter's Talisman. I want to get the Refillable Potion, but frankly, Wukong's early clear is pretty weak, so we'll get the three health potions instead to increase our clear speed. Or actually, it doesn't change our clear speed, but it does allow us to have a little bit more HP in the jungle, so we will clear more stuff and, in turn, have a better clear speed, I guess. But uh, look at the teams here today, guys. Of course, yours truly playing that Wukong jungle. We got Lulu Lu X3 playing as our Sona support. Krez playing as our Vigar mid. J uh, Captain Jared playing as our Trumble top. And last but not least is Sloth Queen Jayla as our Varus AD carry. It's looking like we're against the Singe top, the Pantheon jungle, the Urgot mid, and then the dual lane of Jin and Morgana. And in all seriousness, these are pretty difficult lanes to gank as Wukong. Urgot's not too bad, but he can use his ultimate pretty efficiently against me if I do engage on him, and he can lock me into turret with that. And, wow, that was... That was quite the sound. Uh, Singe can also do the same thing with his fling, so I can be careful about that. And then bot lane Morgana's got her spell shield, so all of these lanes are pretty difficult to work against. But we'll figure, we'll see what we can do. I'm quite confident we'll figure something out. And let's get ourselves our E here, level 1, to take out the red buff. And I'm going to ask for a smite list. If I can get a smite list, that'd be even better. But we'll see if that is what had, ends up happening. So let's go ahead and start with the red buff here. I'll go ahead and pop one potion here, as I think it's a better way to go than using our smite. Okay, not too bad. We're pretty low, I'm not going to lie, but I think it is manageable. The raptors early on have so many little raptors that it ends up being quite difficult to take them as Wukong early on. So we're going to take the wolves instead, as our E does hit two additional targets, and the wolves only have three total. So it seems like a good way to go. Use our decoy here. I do like the decoy level 2, as I do find it does... Uh, give you a little bit a little bit more AoE, a little bit more damage, but also you look to dodge some damage because they'll be focusing your clone instead of you for a little bit, so that definitely helps. And uh, guys, as always, if you want to support the channel, make sure to drop that rating, really helps out a lot and would be greatly appreciated. And now we're going to head over here to the blue buff. And I do think with our smite we should have an easy time taking this. And there we go, the smite a little bit early. Doesn't really matter when you smite it, as long as you don't lose it. So, we might lose it if someone comes over here and kills us, but I think the odds of that are pretty slim. And, wow, speak of the devil, Singe is here. So I'll drop a ward, actually, because although we are against uh, Pantheon Jungle, I think... I don't know, like, what is Singe doing? Is he looking for the proxy farm? Is that maybe what he was up to? I don't know. Found Pantheon, though. I'll just walk away, let him have that one, and actually there's a plant here I could probably utilize. Yeah, we can. So he is going to get the Rift Herald, or not the Rift Herald, the Scuttle Crab. That's not a problem. We're going to get ourselves the Gromp. And we have our Smite still, so we can use that on here and heal up a little bit. And just keep on clearing. Yeah, normally in the early game is Wukong. If you can get some ganks off for free, go for it. But your clear is kind of tough, difficult, so it's often not going to be something you're going to do in the early game. And to add on to that, you don't really have any CC, so yeah, you just really don't need to gank. If I were you, I'd focus on farming and try and get some levels. And as soon as you get level 6, you get a really big power spike, which you can utilize to create some pressure. And uh, you'll notice here that I did put a point into my Q. I think this was a mistake. I think I should have actually gone with a point into my E and had two points in that, because it does increase your attack speed, and it also increases the damage the spell does. And I think that's better for clearing, if that's what you're doing is clearing. But if you're ganking, you want that Q. Now, Urgot's out of mana here. So I'm thinking ganking him is actually a pretty good idea. If we can hit the stun from Vigar, this should be fairly free. So we'll see what we can do here. There's no ward here from what I can see. There's the stun. It is going to keep Urgot inside of that. He's going to flash, so we'll get some free damage onto him. Thunder Lord's proccing. Not too bad. And free flash on the Urgot. And with that, let's get a ward over the corner here. Make sure we're safe from Pantheon. And bot lane's pretty far up. And actually, Jin's really low. I'm just going to come in here. Sona looking like she might just get the kill. Not quite. I'm on the way. Let's see if I can just sneak on in here. Alright, I'll just go on to Morgana. She is going to flash here, actually, so another flash. Yeah, I was hoping to maybe find Jin, but of course, he did back off pretty far as he was super low, so that's not quite going to happen this time around. But that's not a problem. So we'll get ourselves here the Scuttle Crab. Unfortunately, Wukong doesn't have any hard CC in his basic three abilities. He only has it in his ultimate, so you can't CC the Scuttle Crab to reduce its resists, but you can still take it fairly swiftly. But there are definitely champions that are better at taking the Scuttle Crab than Wukong. Now let's head over here to the Krugs next, and then I think we'll, we'll, we will go back to base and get ourselves some items. 
smite those up for the heal and damage. And we're we'll going to hit this one because we're going to use our E here to finish off the big one. And I think we can actually one hit these little ones. So once we get those out of the way, a lot of the damage that we might take is reduced. Yeah, it's one thing that's kind of been a thing with Wukong in the jungle, and pretty much any jungler, honestly, is when you're taking the Krugs, you want to take out the little ones first, I find. As in, uh, like in previous seasons, there used to only be the two, and they wouldn't split off like this. But you would take out the little one first, because the damage is kind of similar, but the little one's way easier to take out. So you just do that, just so you take away less damage. And actually, Pantheon's bottom lane. I was hoping there wouldn't be anything to miss, and luckily for me, there isn't. So that's good. We'll get this. And I think I'll also get Refillable, and I'll wait for a Control Ward as well. But yes, yeah, so like even though in previous seasons there was only the two, you'd still want to focus. And actually, Singe is proxy farming. Interesting. And he's going to extra dark seals. <laughs> yeah, okay, man. Uh, Trello might just kill him here. He is level six. Yeah, this seems like a bad idea by Singed, but we'll see. Huh, Trello didn't pop ult. I think his ultimate might have actually just killed Singed. Not quite, though. Yeah, I'm on the way bottom here. Pantheon is just chilling, possibly going back to base. But even if he stays, like we still have the edge on killing this gym. Because we have our... Upgrade Smite and Execute on the Singed, okay. Here we go. I got a Smite on him. He is slowed. I'm gonna use this onto Pantheon, because the damage on your E does hit multiple targets. And whoops, that's the wrong button. <laughs> that was a mistake. I was trying to use my potions and end up using my control word. You did not see that, team. You did not see that. That's not my control word. That was somebody else. <laughs> yeah, that was really bad by me. No problem, though. Let's just head over to our red, as that has respawned. Yeah, that's definitely a mistake. I wish I did not place that there. It's just free gold for them now. It's okay, we'll take up the red buff here. Don't have our smite, unfortunately, so this could be a little bit more difficult than I'd like, but... It's as good as it's gonna be, unfortunately. Alright, another point in our E. And let's see, Urgot's pretty healthy here, so I don't think we can take him out. Let's just go do Wolves, and then probably blue buff. By then, our smite should be up, and we'll be all set. And another Dark Seal. I've been seeing this a lot actually with Singed players who just get a bunch of Dark Seals. I'm not sure fully understanding why, but uh, I know it's a thing. I, yeah, I I'd love to know why, but I just I don't yet. Alright, here we are, taking the blue buff. I guess I may as well use my Smite. There was not to. I do miss having the ability to replenish some mana though from hitting the Smite on blue buff. You don't have that anymore, they removed that. It's just a heal now. There we go, level 6. And Trundle's in a pretty good spot to help me with Singe, but I'm pretty low, so I don't know if this is the best idea. I mean, we can surround this guy. But he is level 6 now as well. Yeah, I'll just do some free damage to him. There's really no benefit in me chasing the Singed, but Vigar might be able to set him up for death. He went through the stun. Oh, Pantheon's here, though. Let's not die to Pantheon. Alright, flashing to get out of that one. Nice. Looks like we are going to lose Vigar. Singe doesn't die. We lost so on a bot lane. Is Ferris going to get that one? No, he will. Okay. And Trundle does live, but these two are still alive. Alright, let's get ourselves a Longsword here and Boots. And what I'm hoping to do here is I'm hoping to possibly find their Trundle in our jungle here. Because if we do that, actually no, sorry, not their Trundle, their Pantheon. Because I saw him in my jungle, he might be taking my my uh, Gromp here, but we'll, we'll find out soon enough. Looks like Singe is just chilling. And yeah, Pantheon did take my Gromp, and now he's there. I'm on the way. If they run towards me here, this should be pretty free for me. And Singe is such a tanky tower, because he decided it might be a good idea for him to... Oh man, if we get onto Pantheon here, we totally can. Yeah, he decided to use his poison when he's at our tower, and that's definitely not going to go well for him. And there we go. There's the kill for me. Onto the Pantheon. Nice. And I will place a ward over here. And take out the Raptors, and I'll just let her know. There we go. Stole the Raptor. Not bad. And Urgot's pretty far up here. Might be able to get a gank off on him. Where's the stun? There it is. 
The sun is gonna land here. Vygar's doing a lot of damage. We're doing some as well. Is it gonna be enough though? Vygar doesn't have ult just yet. Damn, if he had ult there, we probably would have had it. Yeah. Just pinged it. I was thinking we wouldn't need it, to be honest. But we got his flash. So that's not too bad. The wolves are in fact here, so I'll steal these. Because we saw Pantheon in his red side jungle recently. And Urgot is gonna TP here as well. Okay. Get those. Okay. And let's see, is the blue buff here? I seriously doubt it, but if it was, that'd be pretty dope. And actually, Botlane's pretty far up. Let's come down. I'm quite confident here we can get some things done. If they don't back off too quick, though. Vygar's got his ghost, though. And if he gets that stun down and hits Jin, Yeah, Jin's really dead here. So, yeah, see you later, Jin. I wish I got an assist for that one, though, because I did join the fight. It's okay, though. Let's just get ourselves the dragon. I think that's a good way to go. Okay, and with this, we have the Sona heals, we got the Sona damage, we got our own damage, and the damage from our Varus and Vigar should be more than enough. And a Scuttle Crab as well. Okay, from here I'm thinking it makes sense for us to take out the Raptors. Sin's just chilling in our red, our blue side jungle right now, and I want to do something about it, but I'm not really sure if there's anything that makes sense to be done right now. It looks like a fight's going on bot lane, actually. Pantheon getting the kill there. Sona gonna die as well. That's rather unfortunate. And how is Pantheon so big? He's Pantheon. He's got a really weak clear. I don't really understand how that works. But he is leaving. If their bot lane stays, I might just find them and kill them. They totally know I'm here. This is not a secret at all. <laughs> so let's hop over here and take the... Krugs real quick. And I'm hoping to get level 8 off of these, because if I do that, from there, I can pretty easily go bottom. And actually, Vagar's here with me, let's just do this. The stun not quite gonna land, but we do have... Mm, actually, I don't know. Jin came close, so I'm thinking this is doable. Alright, I'm just gonna decoy out and get out. Actually, I think Vagar might be dead. But he's got Ghost on or something. Never mind, he got... Something else going on for him to keep him speedy. Is he running Storm Raiders? That's why. He's running Storm Raiders Surge. That would do it. Okay, let's get ourselves the Warrior Enchant. Let's also work towards our next item, which will be the Black Cleaver. I'll get the HP component first, as I do want to be a little bit more tanky. And we'll head back onto the Rift. And whoops, don't know why we tabbed out there, but we did. And actually, my green screen's being weird. Let's fix that real quick. Better. Sorry about that, dudes. Sometimes that happens, the green screen isn't perfect. But I do my best with it. Okay. Urgot's mid. I don't have alt just yet, but when I have it, I think I do want to try and take him out. We got ourselves level 8 as well, this will really help. And having this finished warrior enchant is a huge power spike for us, it really is. So I'm really excited to have that. Let's take the wolves here. See, so yeah, once you finish that, you just get a ton of bonus AD that you don't have beforehand. And actually, a lot of people are bottom. I want to help, but I don't think I can get there in time. Yeah, Sona's going to die. I think Varus might be able to get out, though. But Varus doesn't have tower. Yeah, they're pretty dead. How about top lane? Maybe we can kill Singed? Try to get something back, right? Because we are losing stuff bottom. Got him. The extra flash there to get those extra auto attacks where it in was really important. I think if we just kept chasing, we would have taken a lot more damage than we needed to. And wouldn't have gotten the kill. And with our ultimate back up now, we're in a really good spot. Alright. And getting the little wrap or little crux. Okay, and I wonder if Pantheon's red's here. It is. Nice. And actually, there's a lot of things going on mid lane. I'm going to try and join this first, and then try and help out later. Or, sorry, not help out later. Get the red buff later. And Pantheon's going this way, huh? See you later. Alright. Singe is here. I don't know if I want to fight these two, though. I totally do. Let's kill Morgana. We can totally kill Morgana here. Thanks for the help, Singed. 
Actually, I don't think I want to kill Singed, but there we go. Get ourselves a kill Morgana. Not too bad for us. And let's see, can we take out the Singed? I think we might be able to. I was hoping to bait his fling and have him fling my, uh... What's it called? Got him. I had the Thunderlord, so I knew I could take him out there. So I went for it. Got him. But yeah, I was hoping to bait his fling out by using my clone there. Because that often does happen against players who use targeted spells, is they will use it on the clone by mistake. Didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but I still managed to get him with that Thunderlord. Always pay attention to the Thunderlord's cooldown, man. It's a huge boost of damage that you can utilize and get a lot out of. And Pantheon's here now. I think I'm just going to dip. Stole his red. Kind of low on stats, though, so I think it is in my best interest just to get out of here. Okay, but 5-0, 68CS. We're not doing too bad. But as you guys can see, though, I'm still kind of unfamiliar with how to clear his Wukong early game. I think there's probably a better clear I could be doing, and I'm just not really familiar with Season 7's jungle just yet, as I've been playing so many different roles, so many different videos, so many different things. This is like my second time playing Wukong in Season 7's preseason, so I don't really know what I'm doing in the early game clears, but I get through it, and that's the most important thing. And then after that, I know how to play Wukong mechanically, because he's my main champion, and so I just kill kids when they make mistakes, and I punish them for it, and it's awesome. So there we go. Heading back onto the rift here. Uh, while we're just kind of chilling here, there's a few things, a few things, a few things I wanted to bring up in today's video. Uh, the first of which is, I think in the next couple months here, I will be bringing up ranked videos. A lot of people have been talking about how they want me to do ranked videos and how I always do normals and how they don't really like that so much. The thing is with that is I don't really like recording ranked in a full game commentary style. I find it uncomfortable to record uh, full com game commentaries when I'm trying my very, very best. And so in normals, it's a lot more comfortable. So what I'm probably gonna end up doing is ranked videos where I'm playing with somebody else and I just record the games and I'll put it into a compilation of like, hey, here's five ranked games and here's like the highlights from those games. And I thought my Q might be strong enough, but it wasn't. But yeah, I think that'd be kind of cool because I see a lot of YouTubers do that where they just play a bunch of ranked games with a duo or something like that. And they put that into a compilation. People love it because it's, you know, competitive footage of League of Legends. Oh, there's people here. I do not want to stay here. I'm surprised they didn't predict where I was going. Let's just hop the wall here. Where the Gromp is. And I'm going to have to steal Singe's move speed here. Pops the wolf. And let's decoy. Pop the alt just to speed buff and knock him up so he can't fling us. And okay, we're out. And actually, Singe is still pretty low. I'm on the way. The fight's not over yet. We still have our potions ticking. And our team does need our help, it looks like. So if I can get over here and help, that might be in our best interest. But it's looking like actually the fight is disengaging. So let's just kill the Raptors instead. Maybe we get level 11 from this, and that would be really good for us. Boom, there we go. Level 2 ultimate. I'm on the way down. Vygar's in a good spot here to get the kill, but he's not in a good spot to get away. So if he keeps running with that ghost, we can help him here. He just needs to kite, keep kiting around. Singed will get killed by my hand here if he runs up the river. He will not. Maybe he'll die by my wave chief. I can just jump to somebody else. Oh, I was going to smite him, but not quite going to work. Yeah, I was going to smite Singed, but just couldn't quite reach him. And actually, Urigar doing some damage to us. I think we can kill Pantheon though. Yes, we can. Let's get out now. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So got the Pantheon. Our team cleans up the Urgot. And now it's... Ooh, shit. I am in a bad spot. But it doesn't matter because Jin fucking missed his ult. He didn't line it up correctly so I can just sidestep it. Completely disregarded that Jin ult though. That was really disrespectful by me, but it works out in the end. Okay, let's go back. But yeah, one thing I've been seeing that's quite prominent in my jungle videos is pretty much every single one of them has a lot of the comments saying, Monk... We get that you played League of Legends for many years, we get your experience, but you have no idea how to clear early game. And the reason that is, because they change the jungle every single freaking season, and they change the way you're supposed to clear, and I just, I don't know how to keep up with it with different champions. I should probably research before I do these videos, but at the same time, I find myself just playing normals and just kind of toughing through it, and then still finding success, because I know how to play post uh, early cleared part of the game, I guess. So I don't know, if there's a comment, or several comments telling me, hey, you know, instead of clearing red, and then wolves, and then blue, and be more more or less dead already, like, do this instead, I won't be surprised, and I'll actually welcome that, because I do want to know how to clear better as Wukong in this season, I just really don't know. And yeah, it looks like they will get this dragon here, it is a mountain dragon, and I don't have smite, I think, oh god, someone is in a bad spot, let's just kill Urgot, I guess, at least do some damage to him. Alright, maybe I don't want to stay here. I was thinking maybe I'd be able to kill him before their team showed up, I was very wrong about that. But I do have a ward in the brush. We can see them doing stuff here. Depending upon what happens here, they might... Let's just do some damage to Morgana. And Urgot is going to go down here. Let's see if we can get onto Jin. There we go. Jin's going to go down by our alt. And we get the Singed. Got him as well. Okay, double kill for us. Can we get Morgana? Probably not. Let's just take the Krugs. 
But okay, that works for us. I like that. And actually, the Krug's doing a lot of damage. All right, let's decoy. Got him. Cool. Please don't die. I just, I just, I just want to kill things. All right, cool. So let's go back here. Our red buff is still alive. We're at 8, 0, and 2. Not a bad score for us. And actually, the little Krug was still there. Jeez, I hate these little things, man. They always, they're always everywhere. I never know where to, where to find them. They're just always everywhere. As far as our next item goes here, guys, in the past, I really liked Ghost Blade on Wukong, but I've been really, really liking Dust Blade recently, and as we're super fed, I kind of want to try it this game and show it to you guys and show you why it is I like it so much. Because the way I see it, I think Wukong can make a lot of use out of this item, and I'll go ahead and list off why. Damage, obviously good for Wukong. Lethality, armor pen, basically. Really good. Movement speed out of combat. That pretty much means that if you're out of combat, you will be able to get into combat more easily. And that is really important for Wukong, because one of his biggest problems is actually getting into the fight, not the fight itself. He's really good in the fight, but he often gets kited, as he just can't get as close to people as he wants to. And these guys are being here. I'm not sure why, because that's really going to get you killed, Jin. Like, see you later, friend. Snipe him out. Let's kill Pantheon next. Oh, I got flings in the middle of my E. No! He fucking threw me out of my Nimbus. That is so unfortunate. Alright, well, I'm going to go down for that one. But yeah, so looking back at the dust play here, guys. Uh, movement speed out of combat. Let's get into the fight more easily. Really good stat there. Night Stalker. If you be unseen for at least one second, your next basic attack against the enemy champ will deal 50 plus 200% lethality true damage on hit. So that basically means if you use your decoy, your next hits with your Q or your auto attack will do true damage. And a lot of it too. And nice damage from Vigar. Holy crap. Blowing those guys out of the water. Beautiful. So yeah, I think it's really good for that reason. And also blackout when spotted by enemy ward causes a blackout for eight seconds, disabling all nearby enemy wards and traps. So it allows you to be more sneaky. So I just I really think this item is really good on Wukong. I think Ghost Blade is still very good. But the stats are kind of the same, minus the clone reduction being slightly different. But I already have uh 10% from this, 10% from Black Cleaver, and 10% from something else. Is that from here? No? I, I don't know what that's from. It might be for my runes or masteries or something, but yeah, I really don't know to be honest with you. So the point is I don't need the extra CDR that the Ghost Blade gives you. So that's that. And the Ghost Blade's move speed active is really strong still in Wukong. But you're, you, also, you also get move speed out of combat with this one, which you also get with Dust Blade. And that move speed out of combat is really all you need. You don't need the extra active, I find. So I don't know. Maybe that's just my preference. Maybe I'm wrong about this. But I think Dust Blade's really underrated. And let's go ahead and just auto attack Q and smite this guy for slow. And yeah, just see you later. Face checking a brush like a dumbass is gonna get you killed. See you later, friend. Okay, let's take out the blue buff here. Get that in. Uh oh, down the Pantheon. And he is gonna stun us here, actually. I didn't want him to, but use my Q before I use my ultimate here to make sure his armor gets reduced. Come on, please. Yeah, we got him, just barely. We had some help, though, and that's probably why we got him. Okay, come on, Morgana. Red buff, please. Yeah, there we go. Red buff bleed for the win. And Burgos on the side here. Can we take him out? I'm on the way to do so. Boom. There's the kill for Sona. Nice. And let's get ourselves the berries here or whatever to heal us up. Okay, and I think pushing down mid lane is our best course of action here. They do have everyone down, but frankly, this tower is really important. So let's go, let's go ahead and do that. I'll get a ward down over here. And I think I'll also get a ward in this spot here. Haha, beat you to it, Sona. Now let's go ahead and flank here because the mini wave should be there in time. Okay. Very nice. But yeah, if Ghost Blade still gave attack speed, I'd probably go with that instead of Dust Blade, but the move speed just isn't a, isn't enough, I think, to justify it over Dust Blade. Dust Blade just feels way better on Wukong, I find. It's just, it's just more damage, to be honest with you. And it looks like the Jin's ulting here. And Pantheon's in. Let's go ahead and just get him off my team as best as I can. Block into the Jin ults as well. And let's go ahead and back up a little bit here. Our ultimate is almost back available. Let's just kill Pantheon first, though. And actually, let's smite Singe for the move speed buff. Alright, let's see if we get to Jin. Oh my god, look at this combo. Here we go. Here we go. Kill the Singe. Or not kill the Singe, the, the Jin. I'm getting my names mixed up, but there we go. One trick you'll see me do there that I think was really effective is I used my ultimate until I was super duper low, and then I cancelled it early, used my decoy to go invisible, and then from there, I coordinated the fight correctly, right? Because often that happens with Wukong where you want to use your ultimate entirely, but you'll get yourself killed if you continue to do that. So you often want to do that where you cancel a little bit early, use your decoy, put yourself invisible, and keep yourself safe, and then make a decision from there what to do next. So for our next time here, I'm thinking Maw would be really good, but that would overcap our CDR, so maybe not the best choice. Uh, their team doesn't really have that much magic damage anyways. It's more physical damage, so maybe Dead Man's Play would be better. So let's do that instead. And let's actually swap out this and get this for Dead Man's Plate. 
Yeah, I really like Dead Man's extra move speed allows you get into the combat a little bit more easily again, but also gives you a slow on hits after you get that proc. And some bonus damage as well, so it's a really good way to go. I do like it a lot, so we'll do that. And we'll head over here to the Raptors. Get these. Alright, and the dragon's up soon, and hello, Pantheon. I'm just gonna get rid of his passive real quick. But you can see here the blackout from my dust blade is helping, and get out of here, man. Let's drop a ward here. Okay. And Urgot's just here chilling. I'm just gonna dash these minions and farm some. Alright, the Infernal is up. I do want to go for that. And actually, Ferris getting caught here. I hope we can save him, but let's just engage the fight here. Our team is with us, actually. We should have what we need. Alright, Jin's here. He's gonna, he's gonna get wrecked by us. See you later, Jin. Oh, not quite, actually. The fling is gonna knock us out, but I think we have our flash, so we can just... Oh, never mind. We're not in range. Alright, we're just gonna hit a Pantheon and Singed instead. And now Pantheon's on the run. I think we have what it takes to pursue him, though. Man, we're getting so slow from Jin, though. Alright, not gonna work for us. And Trundle is... Never mind. I was thinking Trundle's gonna body block if we did get focused by Jin, but we didn't. And let's go ahead and finish him off. There we go. The Nimbus Strike for the kill. Puts us at 15, 1, and 5. What a game we're here, we are having here. We are so fed. It's awesome. So we'll get ourselves the blue. Okay. And with that, I think pushing bot lane makes a lot of sense. Our team already has a mini wave top lane of pressure. Uh, they're already pushing mid as well. So I'll just take down this bottom tower as I'm near it. And it's another thing we can do that would be beneficial to our team. And then we'll probably fall back and get dragon. I think dragon would be really good for us as well. So here we go. Get in this. Your Q does hit turrets as you can see as well, and it's a really nice short cooldown, so it is very effective to do so. Okay, and with that, actually, there's a fight over here. Trumbull is going to go down. That's not what you want, but if their team is engaging again. Oh, nice stun. That's going to blow up Jin. Yeah. Oh, Jin's not quite dead, though. Not quite. Pantheon's going in. I'm not sure if that's a good idea for you, friend. Let's go ahead and just go on to Morgana and Urgot here. Blowing up Morgana. All right, now Urgot's next. All right, canceling the ultimate a little bit early just to finish him off with the crushing blow to crush his will to live. And yeah, let's go and take the red because that just spawned too. <laughs> I'm just taking everything of theirs this game. I may as well. I'm huge as Wukong. I have the ability to do so, so I will. All right, let's go back here. Get ourselves the Dead Man's Plate next. Okay. And what's our next item? I'm not sure. I think GA would be really good, but I want more damage. And Hydra would give us more damage. Not to mention, it also give us extra lifesteal. Which is another stat I could really utilize this game, I think. So I think I will do that. I'll wait for a pickaxe, though. Or should I wait for the lifesteal? Go for it. Let's look at the damage items that are available. Because I think there might be something that's better. Death Stance wasn't that, isn't that good. Black Cleaver already have. Yeah, you had Hydra really is the way to go. Let's just do that. Okay, and with that, let's go to red buff next and do some stuff up there. Now, I'm cooking at all tabs. The video is going to look like it's going to freeze here, but it's not actually frozen. I'm just changing up my tabs so I can see something I want to see. Oh, yeah, so the next thing I want to bring up in today's video, I know it's like 20 min 28 minutes in, so I'm kind of late on this one, but I still want to bring up in today's game is I'm really hoping Wukong gets a rework. Now, don't be wrong. He's still my favorite champion. I love Wukong to death, but looking at all the champions that they've reworked in League of Legends, Wukong feels kind of long overdue for a rework. His W just kind of feels outdated. His Nimbus Strike is a targeted dash, which is just really, again, outdated. His ultimate's fine. I think his Crushing Blow is fine as well. But these two spells, I think, could use a change. And I think with that in mind, when they do rework Wukong, because it's going to happen avoid, like unavoidably at some point. They're not just going to leave this champion for the rest of League of Legends' life cycle as a game. He's going to get a rework. And I think when that happens, I think it'd be really cool to main this champion like hardcore again, like I did back when I first started Gun to League. Because although he's my main champion, I haven't actually grinded with Wukong in ranked since like season 3. Because he's never been good. In season 4, there was a point when the Elder Lizard item was a thing. And Wukong was good for like a couple months. But he wasn't like best. There was like Kha'Zix and other champions who were better. And so with that, I just I don't really play Wukong all that much in competitive games. But if they were to make Wukong a competitive champion, I'd be all over it. And I really hope that becomes a thing. Now Pantheon was pretty low there, so if I can just sneak around and find him... I would have a lot of fun with that, but he's probably going back to base, but we will find out soon enough. 1,052 AP. Damn, that's a lot of ability power, man. Good on ya. Let's go take all these minions here, and I think we should be able to do this. Now, Morgana's probably going to try and bind us here, so when she does... Oop, that wasn't it. I saw her move, so I thought maybe it would be a bind. It wasn't. 
All right. But yeah, a cool trick you can do with Wukong is use your decoy to block some skill shots that would hit the first target. That's why I hit up Singe with that. Lower his armor. And looks like their team is going to try and pursue us here, but they're not going to succeed because we have that trundle, trundle pillar. But if they keep chasing like this, I might just engage on them. Ooh, nice use of the explosive plant there. But like, they keep grouping up like this, and I really want to take advantage of that and destroy them, but I don't want to do it on my own. I want to do it when I know I'm going to have backup, and it's going to go well for us. So let's go to Hipsidge here, because we have backup for this. Alright, he is going to get away on this one. But that's okay, we have our team on your side. Yeah, Singe is definitely down. Let's go into Pantheon next. Pop the ultimate. Let's just roll through their team here. Spin through it. Let's go. And actually, Pantheon's being annoying. He's keeping us stunned. I don't like that one bit. Let's go into Jin next if we can. There we go. There's the kill. Putting us at 18, 1, and 8. Holy moly, what a scoreline for us this game. The inhibitor's already down as we got that earlier. And that is going to be the surrender vote coming out here, guys. Hopefully you guys liked the game here today. If you did, you know what to do. Drop that rating. Helps with the video a lot. and I would really appreciate it. And of course, subscribe for more videos coming out soon. If you want to follow me on, on uh, social media, I got my Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, all that shit. All those links are down below. You guys can check those out. Well, let's go ahead here and check out the post-game stats. Okay, so we got ourselves an S-plus on Wukong. No surprise there as we went 18-1-8. and eight. We had a really, really good game. That's quite a highlight game, if I have to say the very least. Let's look at the damage dealt champions. Yeah, that's what I like to see. 38,000 damage. Vigar did really well as, we as well, but we definitely had the most damage that game. Let's look at damage taken now. Uh, damage taken. All right, so yeah, we were up there in third place, actually. Tron having the most, but he was our tank, so that makes sense. Singe being their tank, again, makes sense. But we as Wukong took the most, sorry, the third most damage and only died once. Now that is what I call good juggling of damage so yeah hopefully you guys like this game today you know what to do if you did and the last thing i want to mention here that i have on my list that i kind of want to touch on but i again just distracted by playing league of legends and stuff and commentating and while doing it all it's it's tricky is uh i think if they do re rework wukong and i grind him and i get really good at wukong again i think it'd be really cool to do a stream where i'm just playing ranked games as wukong because i'm finding when i stream i feel like i'm expected to do a lot of things like i do in my youtube videos where i play a lot of different stuff and it's, it's uncomfortable because I'm not really that good at that many things. When I'm doing videos, I normally will study the character I'm doing or I will study the builds and all that sort of stuff before actually playing as the character so I know at least the basics. But if I know like a character inside and a freaking out, like I used to know Wukong and how I want to know him when he gets reworked, because I feel like it's going to happen this season. I have a good feeling about Season 7. Maybe it won't happen until next year, but when that does happen and Wukong gets reworked, you guys expect me to just grind the fuck out of this, this champion because I know they'll do a fantastic job. There's not been a single rework I haven't liked so far by Riot, and when that happens, man, oh, good things are to come. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling now. Hope you guys liked the video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Mm -hmm.